What's going on, Ben? I'm about to hit 5,000 subscribers. What? Yeah, three more. That's insane. Yeah. That's actually so exciting. Yeah, no, it really is. All right, here we go. I got a feeling something's about to happen. No! <laughs> <laughs> that was me, I'm just kidding. I just want to see that tick over. Yes! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> <laughs> That's <Yeah>. the one! <laughs> right there guys, Ben uh, has just hit 5,000 subs. Yeah. Thanks That's so much amazing. to anyone who has subscribed. I mean, it's... Uh I mean, 5,000 to some people is not a big number, but to me it is, so that's uh, really exciting. Super exciting, man. Congratulations. Mm. Thank you. Just the beginning. Good morning, Ronnie. <laughs> morning. Uh, Good morning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Instead of ice cream, it's what? Escargot? Is it snails? Yum, yum. Ronnie, you want to get some? Yeah. We'll come back. We'll have breakfast. How much? Uh, Oh, he's getting the calculator out. It's big numbers. <laughs> so negotiations are underway. Currently he wants 50, and then I was like, okay, we can do 20. And then he's like, all right, fine, 25. And we're still negotiating. 20? <laughs> Take it or leave it. He literally just ran up and grabbed you. He's like, sir, sir. Well, this here is the Times Square of Cambodia. Probably one of the busiest streets in Phnom Penh. What do you think, Ronnie? The line of opportunity? get hit by a motorbike. Yeah, the opportunity <laughs> to get hit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> no way. Look at what the scooter is pulling right now. Yeah! Hey! <laughs> Just do it! The little hey. tank engine who knew he could. Yeah, that's making the most of what you have. That's inspiring right there. Yeah. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Honestly, it's just a message that even when you think you can't do it, you put your heart and soul into it, you can do anything. Just do it! Taprom? Yeah. Taprom? Yeah. You drive us? Taprom? Yeah. You okay. are all right for today? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Living lavish. What's your name? Riding on threes. Ronnie, would you do the honors? Would you please let me in? Here you go, sir. Oh, thank you, Ronnie. <laughs> oh, it's it's locked. Oh, sorry. Lie up to <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> different guide. Thank you very much anyway. Same but different. Same, same but different. Ah! Look at this one. Alright. We have no doors. Are you going to Top Rome Mountain? Uh, you're going to show us where we go, but we, we want to see the temples. Yeah, temple and yeah. only Top Rome. Okay, temple, perfect. Yes. We are definitely outside of Phnom Penh now, a little bit. Going into the more rural areas. So we are probably about 45 minutes outside of Phnom Penh and it really didn't take long for the city to become very like, I don't know, how would you put it? Rural. Rural, very like uh, underdeveloped and there's lots and lots of garbage everywhere. If you just show them right there, like basically everything we go by is almost like a pseudo landfill which is really unfortunate but it goes to show like Cambodia is very much a poor country but I'm excited to tomorrow be going down further south we're gonna be getting outside of the big city um, overall I think we all agree that Phnom Penh is interesting for a day but really more or less a place to just kind of land and then maybe move on to go see something else in Cambodia I personally would not recommend spending any more than the two days that we're gonna spend Right now we're on our way to go to a set of temples that are about an hour and 15 minutes outside of Phnom Penh and uh, I think it's called Ta Prom, Ta Prom. spelled with a T-A. Very excited, I think it looks like kind of like a Tomb Raider kind of thing. Uh, it'll definitely be much smaller than the temples we'll be seeing in Siem Reap but it's cool to see what uh, Phnom Penh has to offer. So right now we're like pretty much like covered in a thin layer of dirt. We were going through the outskirts and there's all these massive 14 wheelers, I guess it's an 18 wheeler, truck going by and just kicking up dust. It's like all over me. But we've stopped at a gas station, we're gonna get something to drink. 007. 007. James Bond. It's because of the two. This James our Bond guide. right here. Yeah, our guy's name is James Bond. All right, so the essentials for Cambodia, definitely get yourself an espresso can. And if you're hungry, why not nibble on some chicken feet? So, picked up a few essentials. Got some uh, some chicken feet, some espresso <laughs> shots, we're ready to go. And uh, I don't know how much further it is, but it can't be that much further. 
definitely looks a lot like a CM Reap temple, like a Angkor Wat kind of thing. So, what do you guys think of it? Was it worth the trip out? Reminds me of Temple Run. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not sick of Phnom Penh, but I definitely needed like a breather. Yeah, yeah, you need a break. And this yeah, is definitely a good break. Less, somewhere less populated. Yeah. Would you look at that? All the way out here, the Olympic podium, just waiting right outside of Taprom. This is uh, after they held the 1932 pole vaulting events. There's really not that many tourists. I mean, I expected to see a lot more travelers. Uh, someone like the higher end hotels, of course, you're seeing people who are from outside of Cambodia. But for the most part, I've had a hard time putting my finger on like where is the place where the foreigners go to hang out. Sometimes it's a great thing to not have people around and you come to places like Ta Prom, we're literally the only tourists here. Uh, there's some locals here who are, uh, you know, trying to sell you stuff like flowers and whatever, but it's kind of cool to uh, have this to ourselves. All right guys, Bear Grylls here. We are currently in the midst of Cambodia. I haven't seen civilization for over six years now. You gotta be careful. There's treasure hidden somewhere inside this temple here. But if you step on the wrong things, you could trigger the booby trap. And it's not the kind of boobies you like. It's the bad ones. What is that? Oh my gosh. It's the hidden treasure of Constantinople. I've read of it in the books. All that stands between me is a donation bin and the treasure of the lost king. Hello. Hello. How are you? What's your name? Lee. Lee. Ma. Ah, my name's Christian. Nice to meet you. Nice to nice to oh, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Sweating. Sweating. Non stop. Yeah. Sweat it heroes. Just doesn't stop it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we're doing our last drone flight, just kind of taking in the sunset, and we're probably going to leave in like 10 minutes here, what? head back to Phnom Penh, and I don't know, probably start editing. Yeah. I think we've pretty much wrapped up Phnom Penh. Like, if I could put it in a nutshell, it's a, it's a place that you could see in like a day or two. Uh, the places that I recommend definitely liked King's Palace that we saw yesterday, and then this for me as well. If you're not going to go to Siem Reap, this is something you should come see. Yeah. This here is, what's your name? Li Hong. Li Hong. Li Hong. Ah, nice to meet you, Li Hong. <laughs> So we've got Ronnie driving us around on the tuk-tuk. <laughs> but look at that sunset. He's not only a drone hero, but this guy's a tuk-tuk hero. <laughs> the best kind of hero.
If you can look past all the dust and the debris, you're getting a world famous Cambodian sunset right now. Like I said, I'm having a hard time keeping my eyes open because there's so much dust, but other than that, it's beautiful. Um, your second home, Orissi One, the only hotel I stay in when I come to Phnom Penh. Have you ever had something tragic happen in your life? Because we have. Domino's, mm -hmm. we, we tried to call them, the phone didn't work. Like, they don't have a phone number here in Cambodia, I don't know why. Now, like the first settlers of Cambodia, we must leave our comfortable abode and go and look for food. That's looking pretty good right now. Hello. <laughs> like, what are we going to eat? How much to Riverside? Riverside? Yeah, how much? Oh, oh my gosh, oh, what? Oh. What? Should be $2. Wow. <laughs> Take it or leave it. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Wait, it's back. No, 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 no. Two. Two dollars. Two dollars. Okay? Okay. So I think it's official. After having a meal here tonight, I don't think we're gonna have like top notch food while in Cambodia um, because even this place here is like extremely Western. Like this was a rather high end meal and the food here was very mediocre at best. How much? No, no, no. Okay, we go with this one. <laughs> Just got back to the hotel, dropped off by our tuk tuk, and it's time to go to bed. We're gonna start editing. Everything is all linked down below, so make sure to check that out. And let's go lost again tomorrow. Fun of the day.